What's up guys, Alec Mac 111 Welcome back to another video. It is actually like 45 degrees out in the Midwest today, and so that's a blessing. Kind of got this golden hour shining on over here. Um, you may be surprised by the beginning of this video because I'm also surprised. There's only one box in front of me right now, and that is not normal. This is like the most basic unboxing I'm gonna do for a little while. However, if you stick around, I'm going to be announcing the mystery boxes are dropping today and we're going to talk about them after I unbox this package. Now, the reason I only have one box today is because if you have any clue or have been paying any attention to my channel or have seen any of the big videos or have been here longer than maybe like a few months, you have seen my giant Christmas unboxing. So, I am saving and I'm trying to buy some collections. I'm literally, every year I always try and make a bigger video than the last year and this year, is going to be absolutely insane. I've just made a big, big move to purchase a giant couple packages. And so this year's video is going to be a blast. But that means i got to kind of slow down a little bit because I can't show you guys all the cool stuff because I'm going to do a giant video soon. Good job, Tyler. You did a great job packaging this. So I worked a deal out with Tyler. I've actually traded with him before. Um, but I traded that MP5 that I got from last video for his VFC scar l and man if you guys know anything about scar l's i think they are so cool they're one of my favorite airsoft guns as far as platforms go ever since young alec mack was 14 years old blasting a bunch of people on modern warfare 2 learning all the bad words in the history of the world at in eighth grade uh yeah i just pretty much love this gun i always thought it was cool that game is literally so good like cold war is pretty fun and it's okay but like nothing will ever be like Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops 2. Those lobbies were just absolutely amazing. So starting up front, we have just a normal birdcage style flash header. This one has the little like cut in it. I don't exactly know what these mean. If you know exactly what the cut ones are, comment in the description or something. Up here, we also have rail system. This one does look body wise like it's been a little bit used, but it looks like it's still... I'm done. <laughs> the body does look like it's seen a little bit of use on it. it does look like it has some kind of color discoloring here. Um, but overall, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. The insert side has not been the warranty void if labeled broken, so the gearbox has not been broken to at all. Um, it's got the flip up. I always love these about the scars. The flip up irons from front to back, I think, are super cool. Just kind of that you can have them. One, the first, the front is actually super low profile, and you can do whatever you want with it. And then two, even this is a really low profile back iron sight. Um, because if you want to put an optic here, you kind of run it. I don't like to run iron sights on a lot of my airsoft guns just because it's not necessary on real steel. I also don't have any, but I really do need to have backups deciding on what I want to do. If you guys don't know on these guns, the top receivers are metal. They're like this really nice, high quality metal. Um, VFC has really good trades on all their guns. You got the VFC right there. I think this is one of the older versions because it doesn't have anything. It has the MK16 Mod Zero, but it doesn't have any of like the FN Herschel trades. So I'm guessing this is an older one, which is actually not bad because these older scars are actually really, really nice. They have great internals. They look super good. Obviously, you can tell back here. And then he also was nice enough to include a sling. Um, I threw in a bunch of mags with mine. And this is like a Cryptek tape here, but I think this is just some sort of normal coyote sling. Um, it looks like it's pretty old and crusty, um, but it'll do. I'm not a huge sling guy for airsoft. I use one of my real AR because it's super important and if anything's actually going on or conflict or whatever, you don't want your gun to be able to get ripped from you. And airsoft, uh, it's nice sometimes to just kind of have it chill if you want to talk or use your hands or pull out your Milsim flashlights and pull out your chem sticks and shouldn't eat them if you want. But for the most part in airsoft, they definitely aren't as usable. But it's time for mystery boxes. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for wave two of the Alec Mac 111 mystery box. If you're watching this video, even like two or three days later, I'm gonna be honest, they're probably gonna be gone. I sold about 23 mystery boxes in the first 24 hours. Last time I think I did like 23, tw I might have done 25 total. I didn't have an exact number because I had a few people message me that have been loyal subs for a while afterwards and were like, hey man, I really want one. And so I took them for like a few days afterwards there have been a lot of you guys that have become new to this channel, and so these are going to fly quickly. I am doing 25 mystery boxes. These ones are gonna be a little bit more expensive, so last ones were like 120. These ones are going to be 150, and then it's $20 for shipping, so it will total be 170. But the value in this box 
I last time I guaranteed a gun in every single package and that's really hard for me because I don't have 25 guns that are under that price range and so this time I'm gonna be doing a little bit different about half of you guys are gonna get guns and some of you are gonna get guns that are like $300 just the gun and you're gonna get some added accessories some of you guys are gonna get guns that are maybe worth like $100 and then you're gonna get a ton of accessories some of you may just get some really really good accessories or a nice backpack and so when you guys purchase this I am going to work with you. This is the only person there are, go find any other mystery box ever that is gonna try and really work with you guys based on what you want. So you're gonna be able to comment up to 20, like literally 20 things that you would potentially want in a mystery box. It can be literally anything airsoft related. It can be sling, it can be, hey, I love some mid caps, I love some high caps, I love an AK mag, and I will try and personalize every single mystery box for you guys because I think this is an opportunity that I have to be able to reach out to you guys and give back to you guys for all the support you've given to me and then it also helps me offload some of the stuff. So if I'm buying a giant couple mystery boxes and collections and stuff for my December video, I'm gonna have a ton of stuff coming in Therefore, I need to offload some of the stuff, and I think some of the stuff that I have, you guys will totally be able to appreciate, to cherish, and to love. You can say red dots, you can say rail systems. I literally have so many just accessories and different stuff. If you get a gun, obviously you're not gonna get a whole lot afterwards. Um, I got backpacks, I got plate carriers. So I'm gonna give you 20 things that you can message me. So after you send me the money, you can be like, hey, I want these 20 things, and I will try and accommodate what those are to you guys. Um, you will not say anything gun related because gun related I will put in the guns um, You might be able to say pistol or rifle if you have a preference because I got a, a few different things on those I'll let you do that. Maybe that'll be like number one um, But otherwise it is up to you guys and so these are going to be bought by by people that are the most loyal I did have one kid complain last time he bought the mystery box for $120 and I sent him a $150 gun and like $50 650 to 75 dollars in accessories and he still complained and went on hop up uh, You know who you are if you did it But everyone else was super excited super happy and I definitely sold those for a little bit less than I should have um, that value was about 200 to 250. I'm gonna try and ramp it up. So in this box, in each box you get, I'm gonna give you $250 to $300 in value at the normal level. If you end up doing really well, you might get like 500, but that'll probably be like one or two people um, just cause that's like the normal statistics mystery box. But you will be getting a lot of value in these mystery boxes, I promise. I will probably have to use boxes that are bigger than these to be honest for a lot of them. This is just like the biggest USPS mystery box size possible. Abby and Becca did the artwork for them last time. They will not be as pretty this time because I don't have girls in my life that are as gifted and they're all in Pennsylvania, so I'll see them over New Year's. But uh, my artistic ability is not there. So instead of artistic ability, I'm going to give you guys cool stuff. Also, you can add in if you want a disc golf disc. Uh, I've been playing a lot, I absolutely love it, so I can throw a disc golf disc in there for you as well. All right, 25 mystery boxes. Those of you that message me first are gonna be the ones that buy them. I will not be able to hold any mystery boxes. So the first to pay, first 25 to pay, get it. It'll probably sell out, I would assume, by Sunday. I don't think there'll be anything left. I'm gonna sell probably half of them tonight, half of them on Saturday, and then by Sunday they will be gone. Um, but this is Alec Mac 101. I appreciate you guys. I will do wave three in the future. I'm thinking right now I'm gonna do like two a year. It's kind of where we're at. I did one during the summer, one during the winter. Um, but this is Alec Mac 101. I love you guys. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving and are going to prep for Christmas. It is an awesome time of the year. I love you guys. It's been Alec Mac 101, and I'll see y'all later. Ooh.